Teacher, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Joshua 1.8 Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Joshua 1.8 John 16.24 Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. John 16.24 Philippians 4.6-7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything. By prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6-7 James 1, 22. Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. James 1, 22. Hebrews 12.11 No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Hebrews 12.11 Genesis 2.18 The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Genesis 2.18 Ephesians 5.25 Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church, and he gave himself up for her. So then, those who suffer according to God's will should commit themselves to their faithful Creator and continue to do good. One Peter three seven, husbands must give honor to your wives. Treat her with understanding as you live together. She may be weaker than you, but she is your equal partner in God's gift of new life. Treat her as you should so your prayers are not hindered. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger. Bring them up with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. Ephesians 6.4 Proverbs 17.6 Fathers are the pride of their children. Proverbs 17.6 Proverbs 18.21 The tongue can bring death or life. Proverbs 18.21 Proverbs 18.13 He who answers before listening that is his foolishness and his shame. Proverbs 18.13 1 Peter 3, 8-9 through 9. Finally, all of you, live in harmony with one another. Be sympathetic. Love as brothers. Be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil, or insult with insult, but with blessing because to this you were called, so that you may inherit a blessing. 
1 Peter 3, 8 through 9. Mark 4.19 But all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life, the lure of wealth, and the desire for other things, so no fruit is produced. Mark 4.19 Proverbs 22.7 The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is the slave of the lender. Proverbs 22.7 1 Timothy 6, 18-19 Tell them to use their money to do good. They should be rich in good works and generous to those in need, always ready to share with others. By doing this, they will be storing up their treasure as a good foundation for the future so they may experience true life. 1 Timothy 6, 18-19 James 1, 2-4 When troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance has fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. James 1, 2-4 Ecclesiastes 11, 2 Give portions to seven, yes to eight. For you do not know what disaster may come upon the land. Ecclesiastes 11, 2 Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30 Come to me, all you who are worried and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30 Matthew twenty eight eighteen through 20 Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Matthew 28, 18 through 20. One Corinthians six twenty. You are not your own; you were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Colossians three twenty three. Through 24. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He lets me rest in green meadows leads me by peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.